SAP Business One Release 9.0 offers an advanced solution for general ledger account determination, which is a new way to determine your general ledger accounts. You can easily activate this feature under Administration, System Initialization, Company Details, Basic Initialization tab. As you can see, there's an option to check the box Enable Advanced GL Account Determination in SAP Business One 9.0. To access the GL Account Determination window, you simply navigate to Administration, Setup, Financials, GL Account Determination, and then you simply open up the GL Account Determination window. This GL Account Determination window allows you to define your sales, purchasing inventory and general accounts that various transactions will be posted to in one central location. There is also a column that highlights any advanced rules which may apply to specific accounts. So let's see a simple example of how to set up this feature and how the applied rules will affect consecutive postings. Please note that this feature applies in the first wave to inventory related transactions. In the main window we have all of the default accounts already defined. And now in SAP Business One 9.0, we have the option to define advanced rules within the same window. So let's take the revenue account, for example. The default account is 411. But as we can see, there are two rules that have been defined for revenue. So let's drill down and have a look. The first rule is for transactions where the ship to country is Canada. And in this case, the revenue will be posted to account 4125 instead of the default account. The second rule applies to items that fall under the item group JB Printers. In this case, we ha if we have an item belonging to item group JB Printers, the revenue will be posted to 4111. There are other numerous accounts that we can define rules to, but let's concentrate on these two in this example. When it comes to priorities, the primary priority is actually defined in the determination criteria window. This means that these rules will be executed depending on the priority that you've listed here. The secondary priority is defined in the rules window itself on the left hand side. So let's see how this works in practice. Let's open up a sales AR invoice for example. We're now going to create a sales AR invoice. We're going to select a customer that's actually based in Canada. We're then going to select an item that's part of the item group JB Printers. And then we're going to select an item that's not part of the JB Printer item group, such as Rainbow Printers. If we now go to the toolbar and select the Journal Entry Preview magnification option, now we can see what the journal entry would look like. As we can see, all sales revenues will be posted to the 4125 account as the SHIP2 address was defined as Canada and this was the highest ranking rule. Let's close this window and change the customer to a US based customer. We're now going to select our items again. We're going to select one item from item group JB Printers and another item that's not part of the JB Printer Group. If we now preview the journal entry again, we can see here that the sales revenue has been split across the default domestic revenues account and the JB Printer revenue account. And this is because the JB Printer's rule ranks higher than the default domestic sales revenue account. But for Rainbow Printers, for example, we have no special rules defined and therefore the system will use the default sales revenue account for this particular item. 
So now we have shown you a very simple example of how the advanced GL account determination feature works in SAP Business One release 9.0. So ensure that you run your business smoothly and more efficiently by learning to accurately configure and implement the advanced general ledger account determination, which is much more flexible and simple to use in one single point of access.